You have diehard fans uh, who are quite who are quite create and they're quite creative, but for some arbitrary reason, they are obsessed on the internet with uh, depicting you as a giraffe. Oh yeah, I've seen that. And I don't yeah. know. I mean, it's just this thing that they've become obsessed with, and it seems to be feeding on itself now. That's how those memes work. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have. I think we have a couple here. Uh, there's you. <laughs> These are all by fans. That's fantastic. Let's keep moving through these. There you are peering through someone's window. And then there's uh, this one right here, which I thought was quite moving. Wow. That Jesus. <laughs> what, oh, this is one for, this is a, yeah, look at that one. <laughs> I mean, they're really, they're quite creative, but I don't know. I'm honored to be the giraffe. That's a noble creature, the yeah. giraffe. It doesn't bother anybody. No. Eats leaves, doesn't kill anybody. It just eats leaves and minds its own business. And has a really long neck, and it looks like it's walking in slow motion. I'm, I'm honored to be on that. It could be worse. Yeah, sure. Now, speaking of animals, uh, I was reading up on you today, and you said that one of your favorite movies of all time is Dumbo. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's not, I think uh, people love the movie Dumbo. What is it about Dumbo uh, specifically uh, that grabs you? Is there any? I, I mean, probably it's, it's one of the earliest movies I ever remember watching with my mom. Yeah. So that probably does it. But it's, yeah. I don't know, it's just also a really good movie. It makes me cry every time. It does make you cry? There's a, is there, there's a particular scene in Dumbo that gets to you, is there? Yes. <laughs> what scene is that, exactly? Where he gets taken away from his mom, and his mom's in jail, and you know, she's got her trunk out the window of her jail cell, and she's cradling the little baby elephant. It's a moving scene, and yeah. it really gets to you. Yeah. Let's take a look at it now. <laughs> It was almost realistic, except we saw you do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, at rehearsal, uh, we thought like, oh, maybe we could show that. And I was thinking, how does Dumbo make you cry? Because I haven't seen it in such a long time. Uh -huh. And they started to show that scene, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God. <laughs> that is hardcore, that is rough. I forgot those, those early Disney films. They weren't playing around. No, they're not playing around. When you see them as a kid, mm -hmm. they're incredibly rough. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, well, fairy tales classically have been. I mean, fairy tales were always told to kids to actually Teach them something. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's time we <laughs> taught those kids something. something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just revealed your true nature. Yeah, right. uh, <laughs> that was scary. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about uh, hit record on TV. Okay, let's this is a it. fascinating. This has been a passion project of yours for a long time. Yeah. This is not something you just attached your name to. This is something you've been thinking about for how many years? Well, I mean, it started in 2005, the first version. Me and my brother started it, and it grew organically. It didn't start out as a television show, uh, but we've been doing it for a long time, and, and now, uh, yeah, we, we make this TV show, and we put the collaborations up on our site, our website, and artists from all over contribute. Uh, to these collaborations that I direct. And it's not so much that people put up finished works and I pick which, which ones go up on television. Uh, we do lots of different pieces all together. Someone will write it, that someone else will do the voiceover. Someone else will you know, put on illustrations. And when you talk about someone, I mean, this is really a collaboration with you and people in the world. Yeah. You are putting it out there. And so talented people anywhere, they don't even have to have necessarily be, be famous or well known. That's just the thing. There's so many great artists all over the world who don't necessarily have the opportunity or they don't live in Hollywood. They right. don't have an agent, but that doesn't mean they're not really good at what they do. Yes. And, you know, so those are the people that I want to be working with to make this show.